What's pop blocking and dropping YouTube? It's your boy J Less, and I'm back at it with another video, you heard? And in this video, we're going to talk about me and what you say and say what you mean. But before we get into that, I want to apologize about my voice. I'm feeling under the weather, guys. I'm dealing with a sinus and nasal congestion and all that bullshit. It's making me sound weird. It's making my breathing abnormal. So I just wanted to apologize in advance. The gameplay you guys are watching is some Borderlands 2. This is the first half of the mission where we have to rescue Roland from the blood shots. So I hope you guys enjoy the gameplay in the background. And let's get right into the motherfucking topic here. Mean what you say and say what you mean. I don't know what that means to you guys, but what, to, what that means to me is like when you say something, it means you either mean it or you're going to go through with it. So it's like... If I say like, hey man, if you spot me a hundred, I'll give it back to you. You know, even though sometimes it might take me a, a while to get that hundred back to that person, I still come through and give it to somebody. And <clears throat> the thing that's frustrating is, is like, that seems like it's a trait that's gone. Like, you know, at my job, you know, when I would ask a coworker, hey, yo, could you cover my shift today? And like, you know, I'll get you back. You know, whenever you need a day off. Well, they actually helped me out and did that. Whenever they, you know, hit me up, yo, j Les, can you cover blah, blah, blah? I would always say yes. Even if, like, even if I had plans with my girl, even if I had plans with my family, like, I would, even if it inconvenienced me to the max, I still said yes because I'm like, you know what? I said it, so I meant it. You know what I mean? And it's like, sometimes, like, I, I, I've learned like as I've, you know, progressed up through the ranks at my job that more and more young people or even people my age, cause I'm, I'm about to be 26 in April people, my age and younger aren't really like that. Like they aren't really like me. What you say, say what you mean. Like they're all like, Oh yeah, yeah, bro. I get you back. And then it's like, you never heard from that motherfucker again. And it's like, that's annoying. And like, I just feel like if you're going to, if you're going to live, I live by certain codes in my life, you know, like if I say something to somebody, I'm not just saying it to them for the fuck of it. Like when I say like, Hey, like, I'm going to do this. Like I got you, blah, blah, blah. You can bank on J less, you know, like you, you can rely on J less. Like, you know, if, if my, if I be too lazy, hits me up and she's like, Hey, can you pick me up from the airport? I be too lazy. No, J less going to be at that airport. You know what I mean? Like, like I know like with my certain friends, like if I hit them up and I'm like, Hey man, could you spot me a hundred bucks? Like, I know they going to spot me, you know, but it's like, <coughs> excuse me guys. It's just like in this day and age, it's like, I feel like that's a trait that's no longer prevalent you know like it's like it, for instance it's like you know at my job sometimes I bring in you know Chick-fil-a or Chipotle or I go out for lunch I get Chick-fil-a Chipotle you know five guys and you know I don't really tell anybody where I'm going and my boss's boss you know he he gives me a hard time about it you know, and I, you know, at first I felt bad. I'm like, damn, you know, he's right. Like I can at least be courteous enough to ask to see if anybody else wants to throw in, you know, blah, blah, blah. But then yesterday, you know, him and my boss go out to lunch to Buffalo Wild Wings. And one, we didn't even know where they went and we didn't even know where they went until they got back. And then my coworker was like, yeah, well, we're hungry. We were thinking about ordering out, blah, blah, blah. And my boss's boss was like, oh, well, you should have told us. No, you should have asked. You can't sit there and crucify me for going out to lunch and not including other people. And then you turn around and do the same thing. Like what? Like, like, I don't know. Like, and then it's just like, sometimes like, <laughs> I'm really sorry, guys. I'm, I'm a sick fuck, man. I, I I just can't keep it together. But we just going to roll right through it. You know what I'm saying? One take in this motherfucker. But it, it's frustrating. It's frustrating that 
he said that and that put me in a bad mood like the rest of the day like i was just a grumpy grouchy old fuck yesterday i mean part of it was because i wasn't feeling good and it's like i'm probably gonna be grumpy again today because i'm not feeling good but you know it's just like dude it's like come on like quit being a fucking turd box like like if you like if you say what you mean and mean what you say. Like if you're tell if you're gonna sit there and joke and even in a joking manner because nowadays people don't like to have serious conversations because they're scared of the confrontation. So everybody wants to joke around and be like, uh huh, huh. like they try to like say what they mean through a joke. And it's like you can't do that. Like if if you want to say something to somebody, just say it. You yourself have to figure out a polite way to say it to somebody so they don't take offense to what the fuck you're saying. Like it, it, that's part of growing up and being mature and having character. Like grow the fuck up. Like if you have you need to tell me like, you know, hey Jay Les, man, the next time you go out to eat, you should you should hit me up, you know. I, I you know, I like the same stuff you like. You know, just let me know. Don't sit there and be like, oh, 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 you're always leaving us behind. Yeah, Jason's on the bad list, blah, blah, blah. He can't include anyone. Stop with the extra shit. Like, stop with the extra shit. Just say what you mean and then mean it. Like, that's why when me and my girlfriend fight, I try not to say too many outlandish things. I mean, I try, but my temper sometimes takes a hold of a brother. You know, I try not to say, like, too many too too many out outlandish things just because I know like I'm the type of person where it's like if I say it I mean it you know it's like if I if I'm gonna say it then that means like I must mean it somewhere in my body you know so I try not to add just outlandish you know just act out of anger and frustration and shit <coughs> so basically the moral of this video and why I want to preach it to you guys is just because it's like, man, it's like, don't be that turd that flakes. Like even the turds that flake on their friends, they're like, hey, we're going to go to blah, blah, blah Saturday. And then you're the one who's like, oh, I can't go. And, and like you flake to go hang out with some other friends or like you flake because you just don't feel like going. Like don't be that person. Like if you straight up don't want to go. Just be like, hey, like, I'm, I'm not really into that. You know, I'm going to stay home, do my own thing, blah, blah, blah. You know, don't lead somebody on. Don't be like, oh, yeah, 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 I'll go. And then, like, when you're not in their face, shoot them a text message and be like, yeah, sorry, I can't make it. I'm not feeling too good. And then they see you at the club with some other friends, you know, on Instagram. Like, that's whack, bro. Like, that's, that's just some cold-hearted bitch shit. Like, always say it to their motherfucking face, man. Like, quit being a little turd. But that's going to wrap it up for the video, you guys. Thank you very much for watching and dealing with my sickliness. And I'm going to catch you guys on the flip side here. Tell me pretty lies. Look me in the face. Tell me that you love me. Even if it's